Hey, welcome back to 18 News at 5. Andy Malnowski here with Elmira Enforcers owner Robbie Nichols. And uh, Robbie, want to say first off, thanks for joining us. And uh, what a series this has been in the FHL Commissioner's Cup. And uh, obviously there was a, a fan player altercation on Saturday between goalie Troy Passingham and, and a fan who was a little overzealous, perhaps, uh, without question, on Saturday. Could you tell us a little bit about what happened there? Yeah, at the end of the game, uh, Troy Passingham, I believe he stopped the puck and he had it in his glove and it never crossed the line. So he was heated and right. uh, stayed on the ice and argued with the ref for a little bit. Then as the teams left the ice, he was headed to the dressing room where a fan uh, threw a cup of beer in his face. Yeah. Um, and just natural reaction, uh, you know, if you've ever been an athlete and, you know, something like this, you sort of want to grab the guy that yeah. uh, threw something at you. Um, it's a same fan. I guess this is his third or fourth altercation with a player right. so it's the same guy and uh, kind of a different setup there you after a game a visiting team walks through a beer gardens with oh, drunken fans you know what could possibly go wrong yeah, you know, and uh, so we're looking into it the league's looking into it we have a conference call tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock and mm -hmm. uh, make the findings yeah originally that conference call was scheduled for today uh, what happened there just to change the schedule yeah uh, one or two of the owners couldn't be on the call because of some other prior engagements um, we try to get all the owners together we try to talk level-headed on what had happened and what had taken place and uh, as a group we decide the the punishment, if you will. Right. And uh, you obviously come this weekend. First arena is going to be rocking Friday night. The series coming back here on Friday. First uh, Commissioner's Cup, you know, championship game there. And talk about the emotion of this game, but also this series. I mean, this has been really this two big rivals going head to head. Well, it is. It's a first place team, Carolina. They're a heck of a hockey team. They've had a great season. Um, it was a great game, the last game, a 3 3 uh, game, and we lost in overtime. Or that's how it was ruled. Um, they're a good hockey team. We play here Friday night. Our fans, our sponsors have been behind us all year long. We need everybody to come out this Friday and support us. Um, we, we still believe we're going to win Friday, and that's all. We want to care about one game at a time. So Friday night, we need a big win. We need our fans there, and uh, we'll come out playing hard. Yeah. The guys have done great uh, all year in our first season. We're very proud of the enforcers. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Rob. We've got about 30 seconds now, and we cannot forget about this huge event on Thursday. Mets manager, former Mets great, Bobby Valentine, coming to Holiday Inn on Thursday. Bobby Valentine will be here at our hot stove dinner. He's a, a great guy. He's supposed to be a great speaker, and the entire Enforcer team is going to be there now, too, since Excellent. the seasons are overlapping and tickets are still, still available. 734-7825 for tickets to the Enforcers or hot stove dinner. Yeah, we can't wait. Huge weekend this weekend, and, and certainly we'll see what develops with the league tomorrow. And uh, we'll see if Bobby Valentine's got his mustache as well come Thursday. I'm starting to grow mine in as well. I see for the it. championship series. Any advice? Oh, it's going good. Maybe a little, <laughs> little uh, sharpie on there. <laughs> That's what my mom said too. <laughs> well, Robbie Nichols, thank you so much. Pioneers owner, and of course the Elmira Enforcers owner. Bobby Valentine Thursday Commissioner's Cup on Friday. Shelby, we're going to send it back to you, mustache style.